righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your Elimination Chamber preview. Just talking about that, that match quality there, or lack of, or whatever. Um, Apollo Crews and Kalisto versus Dolph Ziggler. Once again, I don't understand why the fuck they would put shit like this on the pay-per-view. This is something that should be on the bottom of the card on SmackDown kind of shit, you know. Even on Superstars, maybe. Just a couple of garbage wrestlers going up against Dolph Ziggler. Um, it should be a weirdo match there. You know, I'm assuming that Dolph Ziggler is going to win. You know, I don't know if they're going to try to make Ziggler look dominant or whatever the fuck this is going to be there, but it's probably going to be corny and pointless. That's how I think this is going to go down there. Becky Lynch versus Mickey James. You get Mickey James in the match. But it's probably going to be a, just a common, boring Divas match with nothing special happening. So if you're a big fan of Mickie James, you might enjoy it because you have, you know, 45-year-old Mickie James or however old she's at now there. She still has a nice shape there, but, you know, it's going to be a... Just a throwaway Divas match that happens to have Mickey James in it. So if you don't care about Mickey James, you're not going to give a fuck about this match. The SmackDown Tag Team Turmoil match. So basically, a shit ton of jobber tag teams all squished into one match. I'm not sure if this is elimination style or whatever the fuck this is but it's a shit ton of jobbers put together in the throwaway match that's you know probably a lot of quick fucking eliminations or if it's not elimination one team comes in they get beat up they go lay down on the outside everybody comes in they waste a little bit of time and then it's finished, so I'm expecting this to be very low quality or whatever. Nikki Bella versus Natalia. Pretty heavy on the jobber women's matches on this show. You know, I don't hate every women's match. You give me a good women's match, I'll enjoy it. But they have three of them for some reason on this show. And they don't seem to be exciting matches there. Natalia and Nikki, a feud that nobody gave a fuck about from the get-go. I don't know how this played out. Didn't see it on TV, but I imagine that it was worthless. So um, and that's pretty much what this match is going to be, worthless. Probably Nikki is going to win. She's going to get her revenge. Nobody's going to give a flying fuck. And the match should be just boring, pretty much. Luke Harper versus Orton. This should be okay, I guess. Maybe, you know, Luke Harper fighting back. Maybe people are going to enjoy this. There, Luke Harper standing up for himself kind of deal there. A little bit of psychology in the match. I don't fucking know. Maybe Bray Wyatt's going to attack Harper or something like this. There might be a little bit of emotion in the match. I don't know, but it just seems like a Orton winning. You know, if, if Harper would win, then it might be something. Oh, Harper gets his big break, a big moment for Harper. But if it's just Orton beating up a jobber, then... Who gives a fuck, you know what I mean? Alexa Bliss versus Naomi. It's another jobber women's match, but it's for the title. So there you go. It's the same as the other matches, but it's going to feel a bit more important.
because it's for the SmackDown women's title. And for the record, the Raw women's title just feels a lot more important than the SmackDown women's belt. That's, that's my opinion there. And uh, I think this match, like I said, it's going to be a bit cheap with, you know, a bit more importance because it's for the belt. Lots of people are marking out for Alexa Bliss. There's lots of guys with Alexa Bliss t-shirts, stuff, you know, stuff like that. She's hot, but I wouldn't be caught dead wearing a t-shirt of Alexa Bliss. Just saying. And then the chamber match. Um, I assume that, you know, the chamber match should be good enough. It's always fun, a good chamber match. Apart from uh, that ECW uh, December to Dismember <laughs> chamber match, which was just, you know. But I assume it's going to be good enough there with Cena in it, AJ Styles. Dean Ambrose might do some crazy stuff. They have Baron Corbin who's in there taking up a spot again there. Let's just grab this guy, put him in the main events because he's tall there. Not because he's good in reality. He never did fuck all, but put him in the match because he's tall there and, and whatever. Um... I guess, you know, I think this match is going to be good enough because it's the chamber match. It's hard to fuck up that one and, and stuff. It's going to be a bit hardcore, but on paper, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a really good show. I don't see them hitting the home run out of this pathetic card. There, three boring Divas matches and shit with Dolph Ziggler and... It's, it looks like a one-match show. The rest is just garbage. The tag team turmoil match. It looks like a big, a big fat pile of fucking shit is what this looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, it might end up being okay wrestling matches, but looks like a big fat pile of shit, people. Until next time, peace!